Hello and welcome to another Scratch VA tutorial. Today we're going to talk about RGB mask, uh, more known as puzzle mask. So let me load a sample from here. Yep, here we go. So this is a shot from uh, Jim Henson's Creator Shop. And now let me get my RGB image, my RGB mask, which is currently just green and red. And I'm going to place it in the staging which is the place where usually I place my elements so I leave my construct clean. Okay, so now let's enter the player. Here we go, go to matrix, let's go to color. Okay, and let's create a layer. And let's call this layer, let's say global. We're going to make a global adjustment. Okay, and what I'm going to do here, use my gamma, I'm going to lower the gamma a little bit. Okay, and do the same with the gain. Have a look a bit uh, light. Okay. Let's adjust this. Okay. Now let's create another layer. Let's call it window and I'm going to lower the values. Okay, and you can see that I'm affecting the whole image, right? So I'm going to use my texture here, which has a mat, and I'm going to swap to the right where I have my versions and staging and drag and drop my mask. Okay, and here you can see I can select the channel I want to use. So I'm going to use the green channel so now what, what I'm doing is that everything I do is applied only through the green channel. Okay, let's create another layer and let's call it table. So for the table I'm going to use a primitive shape. Let's take a circle. Okay. And my idea is to put some light on the table. So let's use the Z axis. Okay, so I can rotate X and Y. And I'm not happy with that. I'm going to change the camera angle. Scale a little bit by ellipse. Like this, going back to my canvas, add some softness, move it a little bit like this, and then going to push a little bit the light inside. Okay, now let's add a new layer and we're going to address the kids. Alright, so same. I go to my texture and then I drag my mask and this time I'm going to use the red channel. So I'm going to affect only the kids. Just a little bit of gamma on the kids. Okay. Now let's zoom out a little bit. Add a new layer and let's call it light. And I'm going to use a freeform shape. this. Okay, add some softness on that. Let's go to edit, just to edit the points, which by the way can be animated. You can animate independently 
every single point and also I the handles and now let's put some light inside okay so that gives me a kind of a light direction now let me adjust go back to global just a little bit to make it darker okay Just a little bit of table. Okay. And push a bit of saturation. And adjust the kit saturation. Okay, so that gives me a first result. You can see, you can compare with and without the grade. Let me adjust the window, which is quite dark. Okay. So now it looks more like a light shot. Okay. So I'm uh, almost happy with that. Let me just add a new version and see what else we can do because I'd like to change a little bit the face of the teacher because she's a bit too dark. So I already have the layer for the kids. What I can do is duplicate it. So if we duplicate the layer and the texture, this is why it seems to be applied twice. And I'm just going to change the shape used and reduce it to the face of the teacher. Okay, and I moved it, add some softness, and here you can see I have a kind of a shape below the, the, the ears. And this is because actually my texture here is mapped on the canvas, so I have to switch it back to projected. So now it's fine. Okay, I'm not moving the texture at the same time as a layer. Right, well, that's better. Now what I need to do is track this a little bit. Go back to canvas, track. I'm not going to use the shape tracker. Let's use a one point tracker, that should be enough. And let's track forward. Here we go, close the tracker. Okay. And here I have my shape following, which is enough for me. Turn off the overlay. I'm quite happy with that shot. I might want just to add the last thing, maybe create another layer on the top and call it saturation and I just want to add just a small touch of saturation. Go to numeric and here we go. All right, that's not too bad. It was done very quickly but the whole point was to show you how you can easily use the RGB mask and how useful they can be especially when you come to a 3D animation. I hope you've enjoyed it. That's it for today. Bye-bye.